The Magaya Digital Freight Hub is the place to set up and manage activities in your customers' portals. In this video, we'll show you how to use the hub to set up shipment milestones. This video is for customers who are using both Magaya Supply Chain and the Digital Freight Portal together. Let's get started! Milestones are key events in the shipping process. They're an easy way for your customers to see the current stage of their shipment and when it will arrive. Milestones are updated in the portal as events happen in Magaya Supply Chain. In addition to major milestones, your customers can see other events in the tracking tab of their shipment. Those events are explained in another video. Let's see how to configure milestones. Open the menu in the hub and select Shipment Milestones. Open the menu in the hub and select Shipment Milestones. The hub includes these six milestones turned on by default. Add additional ones as needed using this button, or edit one by clicking its name. The edit screen shows the same fields and options as creating a new milestone, so follow these same steps to do both. The first section is for general settings. Start by selecting the type of milestone from the System Milestone dropdown. Choose the types of shipments that will use this milestone from the Booking Product field. This toggle switch will activate and deactivate a milestone. When the default milestone toggle is on, a milestone is always visible to your customers before the milestone happens and after it happens. Set the default milestone to off if you have milestones that only apply to a few shipments. Then, the milestone will only display in the portal for those shipments that actually have that milestone. When the milestone occurs, then the milestone appears in the portal. Let's see an example. A default milestone looks like this. The milestone is visible in the Customer Summary tab at all times, even before the event happens. Let's see an example of a milestone with the default toggle turned off. It does not appear in this list until the event happens. This event was added to the shipment in Magaya, so your customer can now see the milestone in the shipment summary. The next section lets you choose display options like icons and names. Select an icon here. Icons display next to the milestone name in the customer's shipment. The Sort Position field determines the order the milestones are displayed from top to bottom. A 1 in this field means the milestone will be the first one. Customize the milestone name in two ways. The expected label is what the milestone says before the event occurs, for example, arrival. The realized label is what it says after the event happens, for example, arrived. The final section is for defaults. These fields that display here depend on the type of milestone you selected. The defaults display extra information for your customers, such as the expected dates for departure or arrival milestones and other information such as locations. Select the type of dates or locations you want from the dropdowns. This information is taken from fields in the shipment in Magaya. For example, when the expected time field is set to ETD, the milestone will display the same date as the departure date time field in the general tab of the shipment in Magaya. When you're finished configuring the milestone, click Save and return to the list. New and revised milestones display here. You can change a milestone name in the hub without needing to remap it, but if you add a new milestone, delete any, or change the system milestone field, contact Magaya Support to update the mapping. After ensuring your changes are mapped correctly between the two programs, you'll see revised milestones and any new shipments added to your portals. Changes to milestones won't affect existing shipments, only new ones. To complete the mapping process, see the next video in this series, Mapping Events. Thanks for watching.